G'day. G'day. We are coin knives. We make kitchen knives. Today we're excited. We're pumped to bring you a new range of knives we've been working on that we wanted to pay tribute to Australia, the land we live in, the earth we stand on. The whole thing started really due to our parents. Uh, Shannon's father is a blacksmith. My parents met in Japan and if it wasn't for Japan, I would not be here. We have made Japanese knives for a few years now and we have had requests from people within our Koi community to make a Western knife. We didn't quite feel comfortable with that because Western knives use a softer steel which we don't think is the best knife. So we wanted to use hard Japanese steel but with a Western style grip there's nothing like it that exists. So this is our collection here of six knives. We've only ever done in threes, our knives, because Japanese like odd numbers, so that's why I've gone with odd numbers in the past, but we felt for Australia we have to unleash a full collection of knives, which is six. Now Ramon and I are gonna go through them one by one. This is our chef's knife, the Big Red. Like the big red kangaroo bounding through the Aussie outback with its head slightly tipped forward and its tail slightly tipped down, it's strong, it's powerful, it's heavy, it's everything that we think an Australian knife should be. I love all the Australian six knives, however, first thing I start with every day is the, the saltwater crocodile. Um, I love sourdough and I like to be able to take it apart without ripping it and this is the blade to do it in one stroke. The Dingo, she's a beauty. She's great for anything really, a utility knife. We've got a little Kiritsuki tip with a little bull nose here and for me that's a, the Dingo's ear pricked up in the desert listening out for what's around the corner, just like the knife listening out for what it's gonna eat next. So this handle here is Gigi wood from the Simpson Desert found some beautiful wood up there. This is dense, it grows in the desert. It only grows a millimetre a year because it's no water and it is a beautiful wood. So I bought it back for us to make knives with. The koala, uh, we're actually shooting this right now in, in Crafers, in the Crafers Hotel. But this is the perfect way to start the day if you wanna take apart a strawberry, get the kids breakfast or lunch ready. Um, this is a beauty. The Joey, our utility knife. It's the smaller version of the Big Red. As you can see, it's got the same shape. The Joey as the baby kangaroo, but don't be fooled, this is not a baby. That will still cut, chop, and destroy anything you want it to. And lastly, the wombat. Here in Australia, they're quite large, almost as big as the pig. Um, you can see here, this, this is a strong beast. The perfect one for taking apart the pumpkin, chomping down on just about anything. So, a, a, a very unique knife. Uh, a bit of beautiful knife when you're chopping anything hard. We finished the knives with this Nashi finish, which is essentially a sandblasting of the steel. We feel sand is a part of Australia. We have sandy deserts. We have sand along all our coastlines. Sand is a part of where we stand every day. So we wanted to infuse our knives with sand. We have every knife individual as a category for you to pledge on or we've split them into two lots of three that you can pledge on, or you can get a collection of six. Thank you so much if you got to this part of the video. Uh, we really appreciate it. We know that uh, you take the time as we do to support others, so thank you very much.